if you're not hiring the right people, it will take you down. It will undo your reputation. It will undo the integrity you have. And I've learned this the hard way too many times. People undermine you, and they do it without even consciousness. So you have to be the one in the <clears throat> You have to be the one that realizes that's what they're doing. They're not going to, they're not going to, most of the times they're not going to even know that they're doing it until it's done. So if you have that gut feeling that you need to keep a close eye on this person because there might be an undermining, super important you do that. Um, and, you know, have three or four uh, interviews. I've hired uh, three great people in the last, well, I've hired more, but three in particular that I hired after one interview. So this last one, and quite honestly, it's been the best one thus far, I interviewed him three different times. And I brought in other team members to help me interview him. Yeah, You know, we went golfing with him and spent four or five hours with him to to, to get a feel for that. And in just because golf, I mean, you're frustrated or you're good, you're, comp comp <laughs> you're competing, like... You know, so you get a lot of you get a lot of experience with that individual. So, I, give us a little bit about your experience on hiring people. That's probably one of the areas where I have learned the hard way, or or you know, failed the most at like hiring people. Um, without there there's a lot of aspects to it sometimes you hire somebody that would be great at it but then you don't have a good training program so mm -hmm. if you hire somebody that would otherwise work out but it failed because you didn't have a good training program or you didn't you know onboarding wasn't right or um there's there's many different things that could uh, affect the outcome of that hire but getting the right people on the bus as the good book says, uh, good to great. Um, getting the right people on the bus is, I think, vitally important, uh, especially so in the long term. Um, training them to do things how, like if, if you have your procedures and the way that you do things, then training them to do it that way is the only sustainable way to do it. I've convinced myself because... Like I said, I've made the probably the most mistakes in this area in in business, and trying to grow and put put your product, an extension of your product out there. If we don't train the the right people and have it done the way that you your vision in the very beginning uh, was intended, then I think that's a a crucial. Yeah, part of it, and I, I, I it, it's funny that you brought that up because that's actually our next topic, is training people, um, having the, in, invest in your team development. Man, yeah. I, I don't know how many good people I have, I have wasted because I didn't have the correct training, I didn't have the system and uh, processes. They were all up here in my head, and it's not until I figure out how to get them out on paper and in a training system can they be re uh, repeated yeah and so so many people get so discouraged because it's just like well how can i please you nate like tell me what you do tell me how to fucking do it like how can i please you and it's it's been a hard lesson the last few year and a half it's just like damn I, do i really even have a training system and i i quite frankly don't but we're, that that's changing quickly because that is that's in in the office. Besides keeping the uh, the workflow going, that's number one important item right now is to get our training systems, put our SOPs in a training system, and all that stuff. So that we we flowed right into that very well. Yeah, uh, I feel like over the years I've lost a lot of good help. Uh, because they didn't have a training uh, program for them or they didn't understand how I liked it. And sometimes, look, we're not really the best trainers ourselves and finding a way to to offer them a good training experience like onboarding. And um, I think it's important to 
explain to your new employees and new hires uh, what it is that you expect out of them mm-hmm. and and work together to to achieve the purpose of their position. Yeah. And and it, it, it appears that all that will be taken care of in the right training system. It's just like, oh, we're hiring you for this description. Here's the training videos, and here's what I expect from you. And those training videos can do both of that. I, I, think, I think that's such powerful points there. Let's move on to, like, and this goes hand in hand with, with uh, training your team and having the team, but it's like encourage collaboration and teamwork. And you... You need your team to collaborate. And especially if you're not good at training like we haven't been in the past, is it's just like, well, if you're frustrated, let's collaborate. Let's talk. Let's communicate through it. Um, yep. w- when I realized this was so important, then I, I did my next order of uh, books or notepads, and I says from head to paper. For a reminder to me, in the beginning, or uh, me especially, if it's in your head, it needs to be on the paper because um, that's the only way you're going to have the collaboration is to figure out how to get it out of your head or either that or your expectations are going to be so high but your communication was so low so your expectations weren't able to meet Yeah, because of your communication was so low. Well, and I think sometimes then clarity comes at a moment's notice and and it's sometimes few and far between when you really have a good idea or really have uh, something that you want to integrate into your vision and into your your goals and getting it down on paper is by far the best way to bring it back up into your mind and and express it with the, the team and share it with the team in with clarity. So, yeah. no, I love that. Well, and one more point. To you business owners that have everything in your head, you've got to find someone in your organization that will not accept you saying, no, I don't have time to tell you that. No, I don't have time. Like, that individual needs to just say, no, you can't afford to not have time. To spend the time and pull that out of your head. Because that's the only time, that's the only way you're going to be repeatable. That, that's yeah. the only way you're going to scale. Let's say you, you as a business owner took your business to $3 million or $5 million. How are you going to repeat that if it's yeah. not out there? Well, you've mentioned the word before, but I call it the three C's. It's communication, mm-hmm. communication, and Communication. communication. So I don't remember where I heard that first, but it <laughs> stuck with me. And it, it's so true. Like you can't just, um, you can't even hand a project off for the next phase without great communication and paperwork and, you know, information. The transfer of information is, ex- is, is a huge part of construction um, because there's the beginning phases from the first time somebody has the idea to until somebody's living in the building or utilizing the building that you built. And there's so much communication in between that. It's crazy. Yeah. The same as in business. The same as in the workings of a business. Yep. And so th- the next thing we're going to go on to, to me, is the ultimate, it's the ultimate improving tool. Um, there's nobody out there that improves, goes from point A to point A plus without this. And that's feedback. You have to be good with feedback. You yeah. ha- and you have to figure out ways to get feedback. Because yep. people don't just offer feedback. You have to figure out ways to get their feedback. And, and, and yep. you mentioned earlier, like almost go through the back door and get their, get their uh, feedback. Uh, feedback yeah. You know, it's like that is the most important thing. You're not going to go from good to great without feedback. Yeah. Feedback from your employees, feedback from your customers, feedback from your vendors, feedback from your partners. Yeah. Most importantly, as a partner who I, I strongly believe in partners, um, you need feedback. Everyone yep. needs feedback. Even Absolutely. if you are the majority majority owner, you need the feedback. And if you don't like the feedback, 
you know, just change, like fix it, to have the courage to make the change and fix it. Um, sometimes conversations are hard. If it's a, if it's an employee that, um, that a customer is not happy with, or if it's the way the job's going, have the courage to fix it is my suggestion. Don't let it go. I mean, uh, too long before you address the issues. Cause that's, that's a very vital key part to success. Well, and I, I'll go one step further, and if it wasn't clear, all you key employees, if your boss doesn't want your feedback, you're in the wrong room. So if you're scared to give your feedback, number one, that's probably your issue, and you need to get over it. And then once you get over that that feeling that you, you're scared to not give the feedback, and you go give the feedback, and they don't like it, you're in the wrong room. You quit. Yeah. Go find someone that's good with your feedback because that's the people that want to grow. People can't yeah. grow. People can't go from here to here without feedback and knowing what's keeping them down here. Yep. Yep. And I've always appreciated somebody that, that would come after a, a short tenure working or something or you just hired them a month or two ago and they're like hey how have i been doing like asking you as their employer mm. or their boss even just how am i doing what can i do to do better that that's for all you people out there that want to grow in your company like we've said the feedback is crucial and for you to go ask for it that that's a big step in the right direction that says so much as an employer as an employer that employs a lot of people, if that employee is wants feedback, wow, I'm going to hang yeah. on to that employee for a long time at yeah. all costs almost because that's the employee that has his goals right and he, he wants to build a better life for him. Yeah. And so I, I, I just flood into those guys. And, and yeah. it's, so, it's so honorable. 